I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at taking an ECG reading on your Fitbit Sense smartwatch now that that app has been released. Um, so I'll show in another video how to actually add the ECG app to your smartwatch. Um, but basically, you have to go into the Fitbit app, take a questionnaire um, about your heart health, and then um, install the app from the normal app store on there. So once you do that, um, you can go through the watch here and you can find on here, whoops, I went into Starbucks. Uh, you can find on here the ECG app. It's like a little heart. So I'll go through and find that. You can see it, ECG right there. Uh, I'm gonna press that. That'll pop that up. Now it's gonna say put index finger and thumb on the metal corners. Do that. Now I have to stay perfectly still. Um, I can talk very quietly, but um, if I move, it'll restart the count. So I'm just gonna sit like this. And you can see that it's recording for 30 seconds. And it's showing me, I'm not sure if this is really real time, um, but it's showing me a little heart uh, trace in the background. Okay, data collected, it's gonna analyze it. Inconclusive, couldn't get a good ECG reading, make sure you're sitting down, your watch is on your left wrist and you're relaxed. Um, probably this is because I was talking, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause um, the recording and I'll do it again. Okay, great, so I ran that again and you can see I got normal sinus rhythm. So there's basically three uh, different states you can get with this. One is inconclusive, as you saw, which basically means that you probably messed something up in taking the reading. Um, you really do need to be silent and perfectly still and have a pretty tight fit, I found on the band, on your left wrist. Um, and to keep your fingers on the bevel there perfectly, and then you'll uh, get a reading usually. Um, the other one is normal sinus rhythm, which means that everything looks good, so that's a good result. Um, and then you could have a, uh, a negative or a, or a uh, sorry, a positive uh, finding that shows that you could have potential AFib, which is a heart condition that the ECG is trying to track. And if you have that, you should definitely talk to your doctor about it. Um, obviously, if you have any kind of health concerns about your heart, you should talk to your doctor about it. Even if your watch tells you it's okay, you shouldn't be trusting a watch. But particularly if you get... Um, a reading that says that you might have AFib, you should talk to your doctor because it can be a very serious condition. And this is a medical device. It's cleared by the FDA and by CE in Europe, which is great. Um, so it is a great way to, to take these periodic uh, tests an ECG, otherwise you'd have to usually do it in a doctor's office. And this, they say, is about equivalent to a one-lead ECG, so it's not as good as what you would do if you went to the ER with some kind of heart issue, um, but it is a great way to do a diagnostic on yourself periodically at home that, again, is an FDA cleared device. Um, so if you found this helpful in any way or you want to see more about the Fitbit Sense, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps.